Hey guys, uh, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I got in this month. Uh, I can't believe August is gone. Uh, it's It's been pretty busy. So let me restack some of this. Uh, I'm having to make sure I get it all in ABC order because I'm OCD like that. Again, I appreciate your time and uh, let's get started. First, I got some cool little knickknacks this month. Just a few things. Um, one was from the Code Red package with some movies and that's a cool magnet to a very cool awesome movie um, Kingdom of the Spiders just another um, magnet magnet to add to the fridge or to the fridge or whatever I've got metal around here that I usually stick this kind of stuff on so that's Kingdom of the Spiders magnet which is really cool uh, wasn't I wasn't expecting that that was kind of a surprise for me and then next is uh, finally Super 7, which is a cool um, little toy company. Finally released the movie variant of Toxie. So this is pretty much what I have wanted out of all the variants. I just wanted a movie uh, color variant. So that's really cool. Uh, I'll probably find some sort of uh, picture frame stand and then... Uh, See if I can't maybe display that on the movie shelf with the other collectibles. So pretty cool, pretty cheap, pretty awesome. So I had a double dip. So this is what I wanted in the first place. So um, the other Toxie I got from them was sort of close to the movie, but they find a they find a way to make you double dip for sure. So I had to get that. And then I couldn't help myself. Uh, I love. Who doesn't? The movie uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So I had to get a Clark Griswold um, chainsaw Clark. <laughs> I just think that's so awesome. You know, all you horror fans out there, you know, when the scene pops up, it's just, it's hilarious. So, um, this is my first Mego. Um, what do they call this, this style of figure? It's like Mego, Mego style. It's sort of like the paying homage to the 70s vintage toys with the cloth and stuff. So that's my first one. I never really got into this type of style, but it's pretty neat. And I couldn't help myself. I've always loved this particular um, hockey mask, if you guys can see that. And again, it's just an awesome comedy movie. And this scene right here, just sort of spoofing on horror movies of its time, is just it's genius. So pretty well made figure so mecca got me again for sure so that's the knickknacks uh, just a few knickknacks just get those out of the way i know you guys are just here for the um one movies i got so hold on i am stealing my kids yoohoo i was just in the mood for chocolate milk and that's kind of what we that's all we have right now um uh, Alien, I like this movie. I thought this was just a good action sci-fi horror, good popcorn flick. Um, it's no Prometheus for sure, because I'm a big fan of Prometheus and just Alien in general. But I really, I thought this was just a fun chapter in the franchise. Um, it, I like it better than um, Alien 3 and definitely the later the sequels after that. So Alien uh, Covenant, I just found it to be a lot of fun. Um, I thought the vicious sort of, the newer style aliens were pretty vicious and just flat out creepy. So I had a lot of fun with this one. I, I liked it. Uh, Taking a Chance is a blind buy. I have the, I have another movie with the same title. I don't think it's, I don't think it's the same movie. This one's more of a Bigfoot style. Could be wrong. Um, I'm going to have to look into it. I just, the cover art reeled me in. It's just called Among Us. And then, yeah, I'm aware of what's going on with Blue Underground right now. I've already had a replacement disc on a previous movie they released. And then, uh, as well as Wishmaster, so I've been <laughs> having replacement discs come in like crazy. Um, but this is a big time, this is a big time upgrade for me. I had, I did have the, an import, imported uh, the DVD from the UK. I forget which label put that out. Um, but as far as like bonus features and everything, I'm looking forward to checking it out. And uh, I just hadn't had time yet. But this is a really cool movie. Uh, Amsterdam. 
cool um, underrated uh, slasher in my opinion. So, and then I'm really digging this uh, show so far. This is season two of Ash vs. Evil Dead. I'm just a big fan. I didn't think, I wasn't really sure about this show at first, but I'm, I'm really digging it so far. So, that's that. Uh, it's an Asian thriller movie. Uh, looks interesting. Uh, just new, like, crime thriller. Uh, again, some more serial killer stuff added to my collection. So, it's called Bluebeard. Um, not a lot of good reviews for this one, though, but Tom Hanks in a thriller and a sort of a futuristic or some, like, Big Brother spying on us kind of thing just interested me, and uh, I'm willing to take a chance on it. Um, The Circle, again, not a lot of positive reviews on this one, though, but I like Tom Hanks. I've always liked Tom Hanks as an, you know, an actor, so I couldn't resist. And then it's got Pat Oswalt in here as well. And what's her name? <clears throat> Which I like her too. I forget her name. Um, Emma Watson. And then, uh, you know, it's a snapshot, but it also goes by the day after Halloween. Uh, not a very... Um, I just like the cover art and the title better, so I, I switched it to this one. Uh, it's an okay movie. Um, another upgrade. Uh, Die You Zombie Bastards. This just looked like a lot of fun. Um, I was on Diabolic and I just stumbled a, stumbled across it. I had no idea this was even existed. So I figured I'd take a chance on it after, te after checking out the trailer. And it just looked like a lot of fun. So I can't wait to give this a spin. Die You Zombie Bastards. Um, I have 108 out of 200. So it is very limited. So... Let you guys know if you didn't. Uh, the Dinner, another thriller I was been curious about, and uh, this one's pretty good. Um, I, I really liked it, so I I recommend it. Um, that's that, and then one I've been on the fence for years. I figured why well, go ahead and just pull the trigger on it. It just got, got re-released on the Blu-ray, and that's uh, Disturbia. And then one I never had on DVD been on the fence about it for the longest time uh, I knew uh, Tom Savini was involved with it but it's, uh, again it's just another one of those uh, movies I just just wasn't sure about because it just tons and tons and tons of negative reviews on this movie and uh, I gotta check it out for myself you know see what I think about it so finally pulled the trigger on this movie I forget who, what company released this on DVD but it's been available for years so that's that. And then I love this movie. It's one of my favorites. Um, it's I guess it's classified as more of a dark drama, but I I, I kind of look at it as more like a thriller as well. Uh, he's just losing it. He's just losing his mind. One of my favorite scenes is when he walks up into like a fast food um, fast food restaurant, sort of like a McDonald's. Um, and he's just flipping out because his burger doesn't look like the burger that's on the menu. It's it's one of the greatest, most hilarious scenes in cinema history. I just, this movie, that's just one of the awesome scenes that this movie has. Um, it's, I love this movie. Falling Down, I uh, can't say enough about it. I, I had to, I definitely had to go for the Digibook, which I don't think they do Digibooks too much these days. Or at least they don't, they don't release Digibooks, um that often so it's a shame because I really like really like this uh, packaging style <clears throat> and then one that's got Anthony Perkins in it and I've never seen this before you know everybody knows him with playing Norman Bates and but I want to check it out it looks like an interesting crime thriller and that is five miles to midnight uh, pretty cool cover there put out by Kino Larber completely new to me so I'm, I'm, I'm curious to check that out when I get a chance and then um, finally getting in my copies from uh, Mondo Macabro which is awesome I never had this movie but I've always wanted it and that's the Fox with a velvet tail another giallo that I've never seen before so that's awesome and of course these 
limited edition red case it comes with like a really nice booklet and everything so I'll try to snatch those up when I can as that I was definitely uh, I got a high number I got 428 out of 500 <laughs> so I'm pretty much I guess these are sold out by now since I got a number that high uh, Ghost Keeper, this movie is awesome. It's another one of my favorite uh, Canadian horror films from the 80s. Just thick with atmosphere. Um, beautiful snowy setting. Uh, ju just one of my favorite movies, Ghost Keeper. Another one of those uh, gems uh, released by uh, Code Red, for sure. And then a documentary. I uh, stumbled upon it on the... Uh, Amazon looking at other Godzilla movies that I don't have in my collection, but I'm trying to be patient and wait till they hit Blu-ray. Or... But this is a documentary that's it focuses on other monsters as well. So that's Godzilla and other movie monsters. So and I love that cover art. That's pretty cool. That's classic with the train in Godzilla's mouth and everything, um, just like the original. That's that. And then one of my favorites uh, with. Mac that Macaulay Culkin has been in, and that is The Good Son, just plays just a, he's perfect at playing just a little bastard of a kid, for sure, and the ending is just awesome, love the ending to this movie, so that's The Good Son, hopefully I didn't break it, um, and then, ah, I've been on the fence about this one for the longest time, but curiosity got the best of me, and that is The Greasy uh, Strangler, um, just, <laughs> this movie's nuts, so, that's that, <laughs> and then House on Willow Street, looks interesting, uh, Blind Buy, another one, one of the newer horror movies released by the Scream Factory line, and then this is what makes me excited to have a hobby like this, is to find out about movies like this that are out there, so that's awesome, The Intruder, a proto slasher or early slasher that I have just never well hardly anybody's ever heard of from 1975 so that's really cool um, I have not had a chance to check it out but I will um, I'm actually gonna keep this out because I plan on watching this ASAP and then really cool another one from bleeding skull video their own movie um, this looks awesome this looks like uh, just like Look, it would be really funny. Uh, sort of paying homage to all the uh, jungle cannibal movies of the 70s. And this one's called Jungle Trap. So awesome. Um, just very simplistic uh, DVD art there, cover art. Um, pretty cool. Jungle Trap. And then, you know what? I gotta just do it that way. Um, kill List. Um, this one was pretty good. I liked it. Uh, another one that I had been on the fence about for uh, for quite a few, well, for the past few years. So that's that. Uh, the Manster, awesome movie, awesome scene right there. Um, had to upgrade. Um, I remember. I remember paying because the DVD was been out of print for so long. I remember paying like close to thirty bucks for that DVD a couple years ago. And but here we go, grab it while it's still in print for sure because this is one of those that's um, sells out quick. That's the Manster. And then a double feature of a movie I finally have in my collection because the Anchor Bay DVD has been long out of print and going for stupid prices. And that's the one I did not have. This other movie is awesome and one of my favorites. But anyway, The Night of the Sorcerers. Can't wait to check that out, finally. And then The Laura Lee's, the Laura Lee's Grasp is an awesome creature uh, movie. So that's an upgrade and that's one that I'm glad I finally have in the collection. So that's awesome. Cool double feature. Um, that's that. And then this, uh, I have the cover A um, DVD, but I wanted the cover B because the cover B is also like really cool. And that's um, double dipping on Orgroff, the Mad um, the mad Mutilator. Um, that's just a really cool 
So I had to double dip because I like this cover as well. And it's just a really cool uh, low budget 80s uh, splatter, slasher splatter shot on video movie. Fun movie. And then one that I've been wanting to check out, and I don't think I've seen this one before. Um, I've seen quite a few dinosaur movies, especially back in the day on like TBS. But 1 million BC. I don't think I've seen that one before. So um, I've got low battery on my camera, so I'm going to have to stop it there. I've got this other stack here. I'll show you guys in the next video. Meanwhile, I've got to... I gotta charge my camera up. So uh, again, thanks for your time and uh, later.